Hey guys, it is Stephanie. I have a witchy project. Look, this cone I have, this interesting plate I have, some mesh, ribbon, and maybe a little something, something. So come on in, say hey, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this guy. Oh, before I forget it, I need to plug this sucker. All right, we are going to have fun with this grapevine cone and clearly it's been painted black hey Vanessa hey Christy so we paint I painted this black but we're gonna use some mesh and I've already got some mesh um, cut and ready to go I did a little off-camera work but I figured I would leave the last couple ones with you guys so that you could see um, so what I'm doing and this cone is seven inches wide and it is 18 inches tall so I am cutting some mesh 20 inches in length so I'm going to take that 20 inch piece of mesh and just do a quick ruffle and get my ruffles all done here do is I'm going to take a piece of my mesh. Actually, hang on a second. I've got three of these. So I no, I have four. Okay. I'm going to start by taking my pipe cleaners and going through the grapevine and adding some mesh to our grapevine. All right. So I have four. These were all leftover. These were all open rolls of mesh. So um, I have four of the orange and black stripe. So I'm going to add them first because that is my least amount of mesh. And I am just, you guys, adding this in between the grapevine and then twisting it underneath. Okay, so since I only have four of these, I wanna make sure that I get these in there because it's a lot of fun color, right? The orange and black. And then we're gonna fill in in between with just the solid black. And I wasn't sure exactly how much mesh I was going to need or how many ruffles. So um, I started out with, looks like maybe I need to cut one more. I started out with seven, but I think eight is going to be in order. Okay. So now I'm going to go in between the orange and add my um, black. Uh, I have to put... Okay, so inside, look at that hot mess. Don't care. No one is ever going to see this hot mess. But that's what it looks like inside when I added all of our mesh. But I am going to put one more black one on here to even it out. So let's cut one more. She's already looking cute, right? I love the colors already. Look at her brim of her hat. What do you all think? I just, all right. So, but the reason I'm still showing this, even though I don't have these in my shop, y'all, these grapevine cones are available, especially this time of year, because they can be Christmas trees, right? But see how you can paint it black. You can make it a Halloween. Stock up at the end of season, especially. But I want to talk about this plate here. So this is a plate. I actually got it from Hobby Lobby. And I got it at the end of the season this spring. 
I added some spray foam insulation and then I stuck a piece of regular foam, floral foam on top of it. So it is not going anywhere. It is stuck like glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our witch's hat and we're going to go down over that floral foam just like so. However, obviously if somebody tried to pick it up like this, it's not going to adhere well. So I'm going to glue this with my hot glue gun. So I'm going to go around all the way around the brim or the bottom of this and I'm going to give it a ton of glue to help it adhere. However, I also know that when it, the glue gets cold, it can come detached. So I'm going to add a little more glue on that foam and we're going to attach this. I'm going to let it set up here. Um, it feels pretty good. Then just for some added security, um, let me see where I want to do this. I'm going to take some floral wire and hey Kathy, and I'm going to put it down inside of the grapevine. Let me see if I can show you here. I'm going to put it down in between the grapevine stick it in that floral foam and then I'm going to bend that down. So now I have yet another layer of adhe adhesion because as I said, I know from experience that when that glue gets cold, weather changes, whatever, glue and ceramics don't play nice in the sandbox so it will come off so now let's bring it back out this is so much fun i picked out some really fun orange and black ribbon so we're going to make a bow and i'm going to use my bow dabra for this one it is lots of fun and i'm going to use my spool holder that my dear friend Kim sent me made for festive creations that's what you call a custom right there custom 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 and I'm not going to put a whole lot of tails on this in fact I will probably end up I will probably end up um, trimming some of that off. Hey. This one, I am actually going to use a zip tie. to um, close my bow. I am actually have to get a bigger zip tie, but they were on the floor, so. If this is too small, I'll get a bigger one. If your fingers work right. Y'all have been staining today. How in the heck do you get stain off your hands? Because I've got stain. I, even though I wore gloves, I still ended up with stain on my hands. You know, the things. I don't <laughs> And because this is going to go down, do you remember that styrofoam that was on the plate before we added the um, cone, the grapevine witch's hat? 
So I have to be able to reach that with my pipe cleaners. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to measure this out a little. And then I'm gonna add one of those floral sticks to this. Hey Maureen, happy Saturday. So you know one of those green floral sticks that have the wires on the ends of them? You can get them in the any floral department. I'm gonna take that and add it to my pipe cleaners. All right, so now I have something stable for this to go down into the foam and it's long enough to reach into the foam. I'm gonna add some glue though. I love my... And now I can trim my ribbon and get it all, get the tails, and I'll show you here in just a moment what it looks like on my side. I want like different layers, different lengths of ribbon. How stinking fun! Now I'm happy. Okay, let me show y'all. That's what the front of it looks like. How fun, but I've got these fun spiders in orange and I thought how cute would they look? How cute. So let's see if we can find a happy home for them without really taking away the fact that this is a hat. Yep, I think I like it. Let me see. Let me just try it out on this side. Trying to find just the right spot for him. I like him more up and down. Okay, that's where he's gonna go. Right there. And I'm gonna take my glue gun, add a little glue there. This is what I wanted. I wanted a black ornament to put right in the center of the bow. Yay, I had one. And of course, we've got some of these foam filler balls. That would have worked too. 
but I wanted the, that was the exact ornament I wanted. The glitter black. Y'all, don't look behind the table. And apparently I knocked a leaf in my glue pot. That leaf's going bye-bye. And he's going to go right in the center of our bow. Of course, we want all of our ribbon behaving so when it dries, it dries in the right position. And it just kind of finishes it off that center. How fun! Yeah, so this little guy will actually go in my vendor show that I am having at the end of the month. Um, so I do a local vendor show once a year. Obviously, we did not have it last year. So there's already talk about people coming out in droves. Um, people will get on buses just to come to this event. It's held in Clinton, Illinois. It's called the Apple and Pork Festival. Uh-huh. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to try and get a good photo of this guy. But she is stinking cute. Stinking. I love the way that turned out. But so let's just show the whole shebang, right? Looks good from every side. A great night and be safe. Be kind and I'll see you soon.